Hello, Jeanette friends. My name is Bay. The blue shirt is still here, even if for the live audience, this is part two of today's Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, but I'm bad experience. The forehead, of course, is still here. We are going to check out this remembrance real quick and see if there's any... Was there anything that showed up after the Tulier stuff for armor? No. So remembrances, we've got the putrescence remembrance here. So it does the putrescent cleaver, it's arcane, frost buildup weapon. Yep, that makes sense. And the vortex of putrescence. So that's the ability that it was using against me, I guess. Launches a whirl of putrescent jets. Yeah, big, big int. This is actually int faith. I guess it is ghost flame. Well, we're not going to be able to use that at all. This is no faith. This is int faith. Heavy int and some faith. Launches a whirl of putrescent jets that explode shortly after impact and bathe the area in ghost flame. In the age long past, death was burned by ghost flame. Even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> it does look cool. I wonder how you wield it. It's a cleaver, so you almost wield it like it's a... Great axe, yeah. A great cleaver of hardened putrescence affixed to an arch fashioned from human bones. Look at the bones! <laughs> Monty Python style. Gains power from the wielder's arcane attribute. Right. Does scale with arcane, which is kind of rare for just its flat damage or just the frost damage. Because frost, I thought, was a flat percentage, so it just must gain... Yeah, it, it gains magic damage scaling from arcane or something. Spinning guillotine. Hold the putrid blade at both ends and arch body backwards to deliver a powerful overhead chop. Repeated inputs deliver follow-up attacks for as long as stamina allows. Strong attacks perform a leap forward. A leap forward by a spinning attack. Oh, so you will do like the, the throw spin that the boss does? That's freaking cool. Yeah, I can definitely see myself just replaying the game and just jamming with different weapons in the future just for like random other content. Maybe after Dawn Trail dies down and stuff like that. Because I don't really have any other big project games coming up for the But I'm Bad series. So there'll be live stream stuff where I'll just we'll just do New Game Plus and we'll just play Elden Ring, I guess. But I could see myself becoming more of an omni caster where I would have enough intellect to do both sorceries and incantations with bumping up my martial stats of course a little bit all right well that's all we can do here uh <clears throat> i don't need anything else from the round table hold because we are going to ride north as the rohirrim once did to the king we are going to go beat up that furnace golem there is a mountain beside him so do I need pots for it? I'll judge when I get there because I'm not sure. But everything we have connected, I think we have to explore this rest of Skadu Altus and then the west, northwest, and then all the way down southeast, I think is all connected to going up on the map north. Especially the other part of the weird ruins section as well. So let's go see. First off, we've got this dingus to fight along the way. I clicked too many times. I was claw click, claw clicking. I want this guy to jump on our butts as we're fighting the furnace golem. I'm just barely out of range. It's funny. I was too close. No, I didn't. All right, bye. Do the, do the mouse just despawn? No. So if it has armored legs, we cannot topple it with our attacks. And it is in like a whole thing here. 
Can't really tell from this angle if it's the armored legs. Oh, there's even more black knights roaming around. We can summon here because furnace golems do count as bosses. Like area bosses. I'm not going to need to take it out first. <clears throat> Let's check its ankles. Does it have cankles or not? We got to check all these tents for cookbooks and stuff. It has the regular ankles. They are not armored. Okay. Owie. Yep. Stamina. My stamina. I think it's just hits. With my right-handed blade right now, it does magic da damage. So. Came from off screen. So I didn't really necessarily see it. I was too close to the initial. <clears throat> Still hits me even if I dodge it. Hmm. Oh, okay. I haven't fought one of these in a while. I've been swirled. <laughs> I have indeed been swirled. Now I don't know if I want the lighter weapon <clears throat> or the heavier weapon to bonk their knees. I'm not sure which 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 I like better now. Cause I have to stay in more to keep whacking away. Cause it looks like it wasn't it's like each little damage threshold. It could be a poise threshold though. That's what breaks the Breaks their knee. I don't want to fight you right now. Once I take out the furnace golem, we can talk. Kind of unlocks this area to take out the furnace golem. So I wonder if it's... If it's just poise, pest threads would be really good here. It hits so many times. I wonder if it breaks faster. <clears throat> Just locks me into the animation for a little while, though. Okay, yeah. Pest thread goes hard. Too close still. The only issue is getting to its face. <clears throat> A large boy. Blah! All right, so pest threads is definitely the way. Now that we have we've learned, let's take. Oh, wow! You see how much like the entire the entire encampment is screwed now. Oh, I thought I was gonna stagger him before that. Damn it! Wait, am I, am I heavy rolling with just, with just the Blasphemous Blade on right now? That's unfortunate.
One more. I could have just kept hitting it because I did so much damage with pest threads for the first rotation. <clears throat> Not bad. The crimson burst dried tier and a furnace visage. Then we immediately go to heavy roll with just putting on blasphemous. It's all about this helmet. I think that's the difference in weight. <clears throat> so if we change up, yeah, go fingerprint helm or something. Or just go back to our cowl. Oh, it tucks into the armor, though. We can't have that. How about the exile's hood? Nope. You know what? How about a light... Go with, like, the, the navy hood? I mean, yeah. It's a little bit darker of a blue. But now I think I can swap any of my colossals on and I don't go heavy load. I am under the 51 poise cap, though. Ah! <laughs> the smallest of adjustments. I just need more endurance. We are playing this game with only 24 endurance. Trying to use colossal weapons and great swords. <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time do we use them, but sometimes. So what was... This tier. A crystal tier forms slowly over the ages. Yes, yes, yes. Can be mixed. Yes. The resulting concoction gradually restores the HP of one's allies over time. Has no effect on the imbiber. Oh, so you can run... You could run the heal over time and the heal over time messages. You could run both <clears throat> and have an AOE heal for your allies if you're in co-op, and then you can have the hot for yourself because there's two different versions. There's the, the personal and then the friendly AOE one. Yeah, so you have this one and this one. That's cool. Also, my message was appraised. Which message? It never tells you. You're not going to know, but... Visions of Erd Tree. This is the one I put next to the... um. Gold mask, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not me. These are me. Sorry. But that is where <laughs> the Gravesite Plains one where I saw way back there. Didn't expect weak foe. I liar to head someone. Let there be cave. Is the Weeping Peninsula hidden cave? I don't know. Only made a few. I thought I made a <clears throat> a butthole one at the mountaintops of the giants and the consecrated snowfields, but I guess not. I thought I put one up there. Maybe I saw one up there. Wow, it was a Skadu tree fragment here? Where? On who? On what? Just in one of the tents that get completely obliterated when this guy does anything? Got a Mesmer soldier spear. Is that new? Yes. Being made... Oh, being made for overwhelming onslaughts. Attack with this weapon can be charged to unleash consecutive strikes. Alright. This whole front area <clears throat> is just completely laid waste to. Just absolutely bodied. Which makes me wonder, do you actually, hmm, because you can't just destroy these tents yourself, but I assume that only the ones at the front would be destructible, I guess. Ah! Oh, that was the last pack, the last mob in that whole pack. That's kind of funny. I also put on the Blasphemous Blade to fight that guy because then if I'm getting attacked or if I'm getting <clears throat> hit 
and the mobs die around me that the uh, furnace golem destroys, then at least I get something. What are you doing, bud? There's a crossbow. Oh, longbowman. Hmm, longbowman. Yes, hello, Destora. I am back. We are back for part two. We are heading north. We are lagging a bunch right now, too. It's always weird to lag in a game that is basically offline. Save for the soapstones and stuff. Oh, this guy has the... I wonder if this is just a random drop then. I'm assuming it's a random drop. The new uh, twin blade. Just miss right over his head. Nope. So I wonder if we have to farm the Black Knight that has that weapon and it's not a special drop. Oh. Black Knight weapons drop from specific Black Knights. But, like, they always drop, or they're farmable drops? Like, does that guy have... Because I, I beat the, the special one. The special Black Knight that had that used the Twin Blade. I already beat him, and he didn't drop it. So, is it not specific ones? Like, guaranteed specifics? Oh, guaranteed specifics. Oh, so there'll be another named Black Knight that'll drop the... Oh, drawstring Mesmer Fire Grease is fine. Okay, <clears throat> so that means there'll probably be another, another Black Knight with that... With the Twin Blade, then. So I assume the regular Black Knights are formable just for their armor. Yeah, because the previous one was just... It didn't have a cracked tier? Or something? It had... It, it dropped the Crucible Wing uh, stuff, which I actually... I was going to go put that on the Milady. Instead of having this do fire damage, like almost all my other weapons, I was going to have it do holy damage. And considering it's a it's a movement tool, that would have been kind of neat to synergize. Well, there's a cerulean tear scarab floating in the air up there. Seek behind. Yep, I already got it. <clears throat> Perfumer encampment. Yep. Mesmer was working with the perfumers. making a lot of noise. What do you think about that? Screw you, splinters. Hello. Aromatic up. Oh, you keep casting it. I saw you. His dog? Dog ran away. They're just spamming that bubble aromatic. A lot of uh, zoning potential with the bubble jars, or the the perfumer jars. That is for sure. 
little sipper. Sunflower. With the exception of two weapons that you need doubles for, or doubles of rather, and one time per playthrough things, you're a hundred percent done with the DLC. Nice dude. You know what your actual like time is? Because I'm only at like 27, 28 hours myself. And because of the way I play this stuff, I basically want to have everything done before I go to the last fog wall. That's kind of how I like to do things. That's what I did in, in like Rebirth, for example, what I did in original Elden Ring. So when I finish the last boss, I'm, I'm done with the DLC. So it'll be a lot of extra roaming around before we get to that final point, I assume. At 56? I mean, yeah, again, still, that's... If the base game is 100-ish hours, if you full clear and have, like, good, you know, death to kill ratio, because it has 165 bosses, right? You gotta average like two bosses an hour almost, just roughly like 1.4 bosses an hour to the game in a hundred hours, which is not entirely realistic. You're usually going to take probably 120 to 150 hours on your first playthrough of Elden Ring. Since it was my first Souls game I'd ever played, when I did it, it took me about 200 hours. So a little less than one boss an hour because some bosses took me, like Radagon took me, what, two, two-ish hours? Malaketh took me two-ish hours. Melania took me three and a half hours. So it depends on your ratio of living to dying. Oh, the roll. Oh, is this the bugged? Is this the bugged weapon art for perfume bottles? The one that the glitches out and just completely deletes the game. It's hitting too many times based on frame rate or something. Rolling sparks scatter perfume powder before you triggering rolling explosions of delayed sparks. The properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottle used. Oh, wow. So it actually can just be poison fire. Lightning, cold. That's cool. This is like a soldier's armor, I guess. But the chess piece features a shadow tree motif. Gold has been used for its engraving. Yeah, small consolation for those who wage war without grace or honor. Yep. Yeah, <clears throat> that's for the the jingle jangle above. Yeah, but I think if I, if I went back through and did a, even if I did a brand new Elden Ring playthrough, I don't even know if I would do every boss because I would just use a checklist because I wouldn't want to worry about bosses that weren't important. Because if you're playing like a dex build, you don't need to take time out of your way to go get strength weapons or whatever, right? So. Oh, is this the encampment where you can turn this one back on? Okay. You can wake this one up. You gotta throw the rare pot in this one, I think, right? We were talking about the other day. No, this isn't. Oh, this one's just scenery. Okay. I just know that we've talked about different <clears throat> furnace keeper note. A, lo a note left presumably by a furnace keeper containing admonish a a admonitions. Yeah. Regarding the furnace's proper use. Keep fire pots well clear when the golem's furnace is ablaze and let me cat. <laughs> oh. And never let me catch you with pots that produce flaming whirlwinds, for goodness sake. 
This is where you find out about the other two. I found that out through just talking about it in chat. The other two, we've killed other places that you needed to throw fire pots into their heads. Rump ahead. Ah, joy. So the one that isn't... Yeah, this one might... Yeah. You can tell, again, the Scooby-Doo logic. If it has a different contrast ratio to the surrounding area, that means it's a usable... Like, it's going to be interactable. This one's also empty, pretty much, huh? Oh, it's got some coals in here. No head ahead. So a different one. This one looks like it's just part of the terrain, yeah. So far, there have been two furnace golems we've had to throw pots into to kill. It takes four to five. And that's even with putting on all of the, the both the talisman and the jar helmet that increases jar damage. Two of those. And then we've had, you know, one that we have to awaken. Awaken. Death clock style. To uh, you wake it up and then you defeat it, I guess. <laughs> Do you spend a furnace visage to get a furnace visage? You know, we got this other side of the campment to uh, check here. I think I got everything inside the the huts. Oh, there's some dudes. That's some reach. Me too, bud. Item in there. Okay. The Battle Priest Cookbook Tier 3 gives us the Golden Vow. Wait, what? A craftable, consumable item that crushes and gives you Golden Vow? Uses FP to increase attack and defense. Takes two sunflowers and one blessed bone shard. Now this, this version is only attack and defense though. It does not give you the stamina regen as the incantation does. Remains that remains that turned into light after being blessed with an incantation of the Erd trees. FP to rise into the air, increasing attack and defense of caster and nearby allies. The incantation serves as a rite that honors the comrades who placed their faith in the distant Erd tree and gave their lives in the crusade. So it's an AOE attack and defense up, but no, no stamina recovery <clears throat> because the actual blessing of the Erd tree, uh, or the golden vow says attack and defense up for all allies. So it might actually do it. This one nice actually doesn't say stamina regen. Because I'm pretty sure it gives both. Or maybe I'm thinking of Flame Grant Me. Does Flame Grant Me Strength give the stamina regen? Maybe Flame Grants Me Strength does, not Golden Vow. Double checking. Because there are so many. Looking, 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 scrolling, scrolling and looking, looking and scrolling. There's so many. I missed it. I scrolled past it. Uh, bippity bippity bobbity boo. I am looking for you. So it's plus 15% damage. 10% all damage negation. Okay. So it is just that. Flame grants me, st oh, flame grant me strength. Is physical damage up, fire damage up, and stamina. No defensive. Okay. That's where I was confused. Because I use both. They both, of course, stack multiplicity of each other. But I get the damage reduction from one and the stamina recovery from the other. But Golden Vow lasts 80 or 104 seconds, whereas Flame Grant Me Strength only lasts 30 or 39 seconds. So what about the item? 
Does the item version last the exact same amount of time? Because this is interesting if I don't need to golden val myself and I can just use an item. But it does look like it might have a bit of a cast time just like the actual incantation does. If you have to rise and arise from your grave and float, I guess it sounds like, to use it. Um, trying to look for consumables, golden vow. I am not seeing it. Does it not count as a consumable? I guess not. I have no idea. <clears throat> golden. Oh, it, Wait, it's a tool? Is it a... It's a tool, but it's a consumable item? They're counting as tools. The database does not say anything about it right now, so... I'm just wondering, usually the... If there's, like, a spell in the game, right? If you use a spell, and it says it gives you X and Y, and there's an item in the game... It says it gives you X and Y. Normally the item, since anyone can use it, is weaker than the investment in the incantation itself. So I'm going to assume it's a little weaker because any any build could just craft it. So it might be like a 15-15 a or a 10-10% instead of a... Uh, I guess it's 20-10. There's a fair shake of dudes up here. Yep, just wanted to see. Because if you could, like, not spend mana on the same thing. I won't, I won't know, because the database doesn't actually say if it's weaker or not. I'd have to go do the math myself. Cast Golden Vow, look at my defensive stats, and see if they're the same as if I just use an item. <laughs> that guy just roll caught the hell out of me. It's a roll through stomps, not away from them, because they travel backwards. So when you come out of your... Oh, well, there's two golden vows right there. Just on the ground. So we can give that a, a Chekaruski. Because they're, they're repeatedly farmable. They're not like they're from exceedingly rare materials, unless the Shadowed Sunflowers are not... If there is a few in an area that you can just, like, loot, grace, loot, grace, loot, grace... The Blessed Bone Shards, however, are flagged as exceedingly rare to find. But yeah, I don't know. Let's do some, let's do some, some active math right now. I got my notepad here. Let me look at my AR. We're at 1327 in my right arm at one. And let's just do physical, just the base physical damage. We're at uh, 64744. Four. Physical, and then I'll do it with with the item here. And then I'll try with the item, and then I'll try with the actual spell. If the numbers match up, then it's the exact same. The other thing that is going to be hard to look at in test is duration. The item will not get boosted by the talisman that gives duration. Whereas the incantation, of course, will. So going from 80 seconds to... What is it? 105 seconds or whatever it is. Adding 25 seconds to the duration won't be a thing you can do with, <clears throat> with the item.
God. I don't know why mob stuff like that tracks forever. It's so goofy. Hello. I roll past him and he immediately turns around. <laughs> he's got he's got heelys on. That's how the mobs can turn around so quickly they have a heelys on. Oh, Black Nightman. Is this a named Black Nightman? Nope. Infinity Poise, Black Knight Man. Oh, he used Golden Vow. It actually healed him as well, or something? Oh, there's the Black Steel Twin Blade. So not a named guy, just a specific one. Okay. I wanted to see if this was any good. It is faith scaling because it does do holy damage. Very nice. It is eight. It is quite heavy in comparison. Oh, both eight. Never mind. The exact same weight. Weird. I thought the god skin people would be would be lighter. But another twin blade. I wonder if it's any good. It's probably another plus twenty five. It's so weird that the Godskin Peeler actually is not a somber weapon because it's a boss weapon. It literally is a boss weapon. Multiple bosses use it. The the disciples, the go the Godskin blah blah blah, the tall boys. The Black Steel Twin Blade should be a plus twenty five. Weapon of the Black Knight Servants of Mesmer, the Impaler Twin Blades of Black Steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation, further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase Ermin's power. Oh, so if you Golden Vow, it scales, I guess, the Holy Imbuement, the Holy Damage, which would then scale based off your Faith stat, because it already would. The plus damage scales off your Faith. Hmm. Hmm. It only has Spinning Slash. So, yeah, maybe putting the, um, the Crucible Wing attack on this might be the better play. That's a direct synergy. Yeah, we'll go do that. Skill favored by dexterous warriors slash your foes as your body spins. Additional inputs follow up. Yeah, that's just the basic weapon art. Yeah, I'm going to go upgrade that. Putting the crucible wings on will also mushroom. We'll also probably lean the weapon more or is the faith stat as well. That's awesome. So that's the black steel twin blade. Let me write that down for my notes for later. Whoops. I, whoops. 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 Black steel twin blade got. Now. Yeah, 1327 with the 64.744. Let me use the actual spell here. <clears throat> we go to 1527. Weird that it adds 200 even. And we go to 68.270 flat physical. And that's with incantation all right all the other things we don't have to worry about we're just as long as one hits the same it's the same ratio when that falls off we'll use one of the items now it also makes me wonder if if those little bird tree chippies if those the stone shards. I have 15 now, so I could make up to 15. I wonder if those are a rare drop.
from black knights so the front of this camp has two or three of them just roaming around so you could you could respawn farm them down the road right down the road and get multiples so you could just farm them that's a possibility turn back and then first off tarnished seek cave Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, it's, it, that's a note telling you to go back and talk to Leda. We have talked to all the NPCs, to my understanding. So we are good to go on that. What I wanted to check now is way over here. Is this the connection point where you drop down? Absolutely not. So this doesn't connect. So is it way on that side? Because there's that overhanging cave right there, but that goes underneath this plateau. So it's on the other side of this, of Skadu Altus, way on the other side of the... There's got to be a way to go down. I was told it was not through the legacy dungeon. At least not explicitly through the legacy dungeon. Well, I don't know. It's looking like it might be. Hmm. There's a broken wall segment down there. Unless there's an elevator. Obviously, there's a god skin looking bridge to go to the other side of the... a lot a lot to try to figure out how to get to places it's probably one of the biggest puzzle sections that take the most time if these were edited archived if i was just running around exploring if i was doing the uh the pally time style then i'd be able to uh I'd just cut out all the roaming around sections so that there was they are more condensed, but right now it's everything. It's the roaming around and everything. Bats, hello. What's over here, I wonder? Looks like a bit of a burned out cathedral. Maybe similar to uh, Manus Mater. Price skill. Night ahead. Oh. Hmm. Church of the Crusade. Thou shalt not evade the flame. Ah, of this guy again. Ouchie. How could this be? Get out of here, Quelin! Recusant vanquished. My grace. We fought Quelin earlier as well inside Bellarat. Ash of War Flame Skewer and the Prayer Room Key. And a Shadow Tree Fragment. Cliff. Ah, Rump. All right. Quelin. If that is your real name. That's a skull with like a candle in it. Didn't expect a mushroom. Oh, these are the blessed bone shards when they're inside of a skull like that. Mmm. I see. This is very... God, what is that called? 
in Lost Isolith, the big pot of fire. <laughs> That's my first rune arc, I think, of this entire uh, DLC. Skeleton. All right. That's run its course. Let's see. Prayer room key. Iron key with an engraved crest opens the door to the prayer room in the house of worship found in the church district of the shadow keep. So that is the eastern side where I said earlier is all those ulcerated tree spirits somewhere in there. Okay. It's good to come here first, I guess. And the Ash of War grants the flame art affinity. Hmm, my favorite. Flame skewer is the skill of Quaylin of the Fire Knights. In wreath the armament in flame and assume a low stance before skewering the enemy in a single motion. Strong attack unleashes a follow up flame attack. Usable a medium and large armaments capable of thrusting. That's what I just got hit by right there. It was the it's the huge flame forward and then the woof of flame afterwards. What could that? I mean, obviously it'd be good on a spear. It's it's used on a spear here, and um, it'd be on spears and thrusting swords. I assume yeah, you, you need the thrusting attribute. All right, let's use one of these real quick and check our stats. Oh, rising into the air is the stance you take. Now I'm not gonna be able to check the. Okay, immediately it's weaker. The item goes to 1496 AR and 67847 physical. So the item is probably a 15% attack power buff and maybe only a like 7% physical damage reduction. The physical damage reduction obviously has diminishing returns the higher you scale up and up and up, but the actual spell gave me like 0.4-ish more than the item. But the damage is definitely way weaker at 1496 versus 1527. So that's, that's 30 AR. That's still like, that's, that's a good chunk. And it's more than 10% overall scaled so so it is weaker but it is also just an item i also don't know how long that lasted but it also probably lasts less because that didn't feel like it lasted very long in comparison so just a little bit of napkin math okay now how do i get down on the western side or the eastern side that's feeling like I need to go through the Shadow Keep, which it's fine if that's the case, because it basically blocks you from from skipping. You have to go through Mesmer first, right? Which puts him at like Does that put him at like Remembrance boss like four or five? It's pretty early on. Uh, that's the other side. I was told there was a spirit spring to get up to that platform. Oh, yep, there it is right there. Also a marvel tier down there. Right where Torrin's head is. Spirit Spring. Hmm. So it looks like the only other path is to ride through the Fogrift Fort western side and see... Well, because it's weird. In that forest right down there, Oh no, that's a different area. See, gosh, dang it. Right where Torrin's head is pointing at the bottom of the screen. What the heck is that thing? That is big golem knight looking dude. Um, so to Torrin's left ear straight down, that's where you go if you go up this canyon. And it's, that's where this, the rift catacombs is. 
That's underneath the area. When you go down there, it's totally dark because you are you're in essentially a cave system underneath a plateau of land. So I don't know how to get down there yet. I see a chunky monkey. I see the spirit font. Spirit spring, whatever. Fun fact, if you use Margaret's shackle when you come across a locked spirit spring. So you don't have to actually find you don't have to actually find the 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 ghost rocks. You can just use Margaret's shackle and it breaks the rocks even if you don't go to them. That's kind of cool. I'm sure I'll find another one of those eventually. All right, it looks like we're going into the... We are going into the keep. That's where it looks like everything is pointing. It just breaks the... That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's... Oh, there's larval tea right here, too. Look at that. I wonder if... That is a bug or an intended feature of the shackles like functionality you know because Margaret's shackle uh is supposed to break the bonds or whatever right <clears throat> okay i'm gonna go over here to the water and then we can go north uh, there might be a hippo over here i'm assuming potentially a hippo Some black knights just hanging out. I got no qualms with you at this moment. Mostly just don't want to fight you. If there is a hip to pop to optopotamus over here, though, I want to summon Tish. Oh, that black knight is lying in wait. Oh, he's sleeping. Maybe. Can't imagine laying down and trying to get comfortable in full plate armor is uh, conducive. Are you guys guarding something? Wow, get the spear tip right in. Nope, they were just a pack of mobs for Estus and stuff. Okay. Larval tier up here. There's a little bear going around, going rah rah rah. Dun dun dun. Da -da -dun, -dun, -dun. Hello, little bear. Red mushroom. Ah. All right, do we have a? Oh, this is the bear boss. This is not a hippo at all. This is the red bear and some sunflowers. To clear out these other bears before we fight the bear boss. All right, bear boss. Some sunflowers. I was to say, is that, is that two birds spawned inside of each other right there? <laughs> and I want to be a caster against the bear boss, or am I going to melee the bear boss? It's just going to be a hyper aggressive rune bear with horns. And rune bears suck! I want to just ride around and pest threads it, but if I get knocked off torrent, it's going to be a bad time. Getting knocked off torrent probably means death, 
because I will be stunned for 16 years. Might, but it's also going to be really fast. Uh, let's try the um, just hit it with pest threads on torrent kind of dealio here. Now, here's the question, too. Do I want to even cast it even faster? Because the bear's going to be really fast. We could try that. We know that the cast speed does affect the plague incantations. Does it really affect the normal, like, my other incantations very well. Ah! That's what I figured. Ralva, great red bear. Well, they're not moving towards me, so I missed all those pest threads. Against the wall, yeah, I'm probably dead here. Yep, there was the the little. I told you, if I get knocked down, it's over. Ralva, great red bear. Okay. I actually don't know. Maybe the I'll just take a little bit extra damage, although it gets cancelled out by. Uh, it gets canceled out by the... Oh! The Highland Attire Leather Set? Just sitting here at this... Right outside the uh, lake there? Okay. I feel like I've seen this set before on something. Traditional garb of Highland warriors made from woven fabric and finished with bl a blue patterned cloth. Highland warriors are known to be hunters of bears. To them, there is no act more glorious than the subjugation of a savage beast. Okay. I don't have my... Currently not using the holy damage crack tier, so how am I still out of range? Whoa! My God, that travels so long. Yep, it is just a rune there, after all. Oh, I've... Normal button presses. Okay. <laughs> sure, I guess. Gotta love the attacks from enemies that you barely can tell what they're doing and all of a sudden the entire area around them erupts and kills you as you dodge roll away. That's fun. Dude. 
Do 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 Yeah, Torrent is still, like, not fast enough. actually goes forever. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's quite the explosion on the ground there. Yep, I went to cast a spell, but you're faster than me, so you hit me. Oh no, the tree. Another tree! I'm dead! Yep. Oh, now they have wind magic. Okay, sure. The terrain here is half the half the problem. Oh my god. Out of mana. Wow, that multi hits too. Oh my god! The distance! <laughs> rune bears. LOLOL. A basic rune bear in the base game can solo Melania. One rune bear. Just one. Awkwardly, one of the most dangerous enemy types in all of Elden Ring are rune bears. Their, their damage output is just, just stupid. I don't know about that range, though. That's what really tripped me up right there. The fact that the wind claw range just shoot so far right into my face. The immediate, immediate aggro. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. Dude, come on. What is that hitbox? I'm right out of range. Nope. Nope. <sighs> nope, nope, nope. That's not gonna work. I started casting that the moment I got out of range and still don't have time. Ah, <sighs> man. Playing a caster in this DLC is rough. It's windy time.
Dead? No. What? I'm in its model. Any any combo spell just doesn't work in this DLC, man. So many times I just can't finish my cast. Just because it's a damn rune bear. That's really much it. Dude, come on. The range of that. Oh, okay. Sure. Absolutely massive hitbox. Other bear. my other bear I uh, fucking rune bears man fuck fucking fucking rune bears dude sure I guess I can't I can't attack it I don't have time yep don't have time Stomp, stomps, charges, charges, stomp, stomp, charge, 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 stomp, yell, charge, stomp. Room bears suck. I think I say more about beast enemies than rune bears themselves. The hippos are pretty bad. Uh, I've never been good against rune bears. And it's just, it's just trying to be a caster in this DLC is just. So they, they cranked up aggression, right? So that things have less, less downtime. So say if you have a spell that takes two seconds to cast, but enemies attack every 1.8 seconds, when do you cast a spell? You know what I mean? Like they just don't, nothing lets you cast a spell. You get one cast and you get to like roll around like an idiot for 20 minutes. I guess I don't know what I'm asking for. Just, it feels like I just never cast any abilities. <clears throat> well, let's see. If casting's not working, I mean, it almost worked, but. She sees me. I don't know when the animation is for that because it's in the water. All right, that's two different versions of that. And that's the counter to to getting under beast enemies. They just do an AOE. So if you're underneath them, you just get hit. Sure, okay.
Oh my god, the hit. Like, it's almost like hit scan levels of quickness. Then it just jumps into you. Okay, sure, I did roll through that, but I guess not. Just treat it like a beast boss, I guess. Can't cast against it. Just hit it and roll around it. Fair enough. The Pelt of Ralva. Had a couple of good dodges there. It's also tough to see. I probably should have, like, pulled it. I don't know how far she would have leashed or he, whatever, towards the stake of Merica. Because part of my issue was I couldn't see their paws because they're under the water. <laughs> So I couldn't tell how long, like, when they were pulsing to do the ground effect in front of them. I should have pulled them out of the... That's my bad. I should have pulled them off the ground here. To, like, to the ground, not on, under the water. Because the water reflects up. So I couldn't really tell where it was. But, alright. What's the... What's the... It's just a rune bear. It's just rune bear frustrations, man. Fucker up, buttercup. You got a lot, a lot of that to look forward to. What? Rune bears or hippos? The hippo I found wasn't that bad. The hippo I could actually like trape around with on my on torrent and get a lot of pest threads off. So I don't know. It's just rune bears, man. I've never been good at fighting rune bears, but I've also been playing this game predominantly over 200 plus hours as a faith caster. Probably be different if you were a sorcerer. And sorceries can actually gain a lot more cast speed or cast speed increases, cast time reductions, whereas Faith just kind of doesn't really do that much. <clears throat> Even with the 99 dex item, the, the virtual 99 dexterity, it doesn't affect the Black Flame spell I have at all. Uh, it barely affects the Plague spells. It makes the initial, like, when the wing peers on your back a little faster, it might shave off five or six frames. It's just, and that's max dexterity compared to uh, sorcery scaling. But I never played a sorcerer, so I don't really know how much faster, but I, I, all I know is that it is usually more impactful on sorcery magic than uh, incantation. The pelt of Ralva the Great Bear worn upon the head without modification. It is just their skin. Enhances incantations of what is jokingly called Bear Communion, which we haven't found any of those yet. This untreated hide, one at the end of a bloody bout, is just the thing to make a wild bear out of a warrior. Hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's animal hide, so normally animal hides are going to be more resistant to magic or have good magic resist, but not a lot of... Physical stats. And do be looking kind of cool. <laughs> it does look neat. Okay. So now looking over the edge over here, does this have any connection? In this game, five or six frames means a lot. Right. But to use that, to use that item to go to virtual 99 dexterity, uh, you also take a, is a 30% all damage mitigation hit. That's the trade-off for that item. So it's a pretty big hit. Takes all my mitigations down to under 50%. So it's useful in situations where I'm able to cast, but usually beast type enemies 
Oh, it's just not as much time. It feels like. So this still, yeah. It's gotta be there's a huge cave right there, gosh dang. Right here that goes underneath. Okie doke. I mean, don't get hit. Alright, sure. Are you tra did you track your deaths during your playthrough? Because I'm tracking mine. None of us are esoteric, nor none of us have played this game for long enough to not get hit. Plenty of us do be getting hit out here. Damn it, all these... All these mobs are respawned now. Oh yeah, see these... These little flame blobs do just respawn, okay. You know, because you don't care? Yeah, of course. All that matters is if I killed the boss. Well, of course. Well, I'm just bringing up the point that, like, we're going to get hit. Unless you study... Because even Esoteric, even all those videos that he puts out, like, if he gets hit, he just stops the recording and restarts, right? Like, there's just... He only posts the video that is the no-hit run. So he'll work on each boss, each individual boss... For quite a long time, I imagine, before he actually gets there. Some more than others, of course. Oh, there's nothing here. Some more than others. Now, here's the question. Do I want to actually do the church district first? If that's its own separate entity? Because it did go all the way around. Maybe I want to do the church district first. It's also smaller. Looking at how much time I've recorded, maybe that's be better for right now for pacing and then we go in at the start of an episode for the shadow keep as it were this might be just better for exploration pacing even though how much mobbing we do in here blasmus blade time Which means we switch to up, 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 up. You just drop down into the water, huh? Down. Oh my god. Oh, is this death? Is this an elevator that doesn't work so you just fall and die but it looks like water but you fall through the water and die yep that's so troll <laughs> so uh, are we not supposed to go uh, the water is too deep the water is too deep right now we drown so we want to go no water we want to one of these I think I, I, I vaguely remember Destora doing this. I guess it probably could have dropped onto the wood right there. You lower the water in here, I think. That's what allows you to explore the rest of the flooded section. Try, are you ready? That's a nasty jump. Is this a... For a regular garbage item, that's a nasty jump. I'm assuming you can just walk up there after. Hmm. Grab. Grab. Yeah, I mean, I, I keep track of my death counter in these games just because it's just for archival purposes. Wit. Oh, that's a cool little like reveal with one. That's an ulcerated tree spirit down there. I take it just rolling around in the water. 
That's kind of neat, actually. Yep, there it is. Can you attack it through the water? Oh, yeah. Probably doesn't work really well to do it, though. Oh, did it burrow underneath? Okay, that's actually a cool use for a tree spirit. To make it like a... a, a <laughs> <laughs> to make it like a swamp monster. Not really a swamp, but you know what I mean? That's actually kind of cool. Other than just like, here's another Ulcerated Tree Spirit. AKA the cut content from Dark Souls 3, the Puss of Man boss. Okay. Gives us another one of those. Now, I don't know where I'm going if I have to make that other jump. Have we ever had like a water traversal section like this before in a Souls game? I'm trying to think. I don't know if the earlier games could um, could handle this kind of stuff because there's stuff in like Dark Souls 2, but you're never like traversing water like this target lock ahead also I probably should have leveled up because this is very easy to just to die here and lose my souls we're going back to the uh, grace anyway so I have to go all the way back this way I guess I'm we're jumping on the other roof Oh, this is a weird angle. Okay. Oh, I can't get back to the grace. I have to teleport. Ah. You can't torrent here. That is the only way to go, it looks like. All right. Reset and level up real quick before we continue forward. This is two levels, I think. And we got another blessing. We're at 11. Blessings 11 through 19 are a little weaker than they were previously because of the patch that rescaled them. We can finally start pumping some endurance. I don't know, probably get endurance to 35 as well eventually. Mostly for the equip load. I've been playing very light character for a while, but in the DLC now I want those poise break points, so at least I can maybe finish a cast. Sometimes. Yeah, still a heavy load here. With that sword combination, that's unfortunate. Need a little more. I'm doing a lot of melee as well, so the extra stamina because I usually don't run the uh, green turtle talisman most of the time I don't know about this jump Oof, I'm half off um okay Oh, yep. It... <laughs> I think the roll was fine, but I think the explosion pushed me. Okay. <laughs> they just spawned in. They didn't even... They weren't even laying there on the ground. Those flaming skeletons just literally spawned into existence right there. They... What? Watch, see? See? They just exist. These are the ones that blow themselves up, though.
Yeah, see. <laughs> Alright, they're just spawning in. I don't have a great setup for dealing with these flame skeletons, so because I'm case in point. Just gotta bait him and blow him up. Fireproof pickled liver. I'm going to imagine I will be wanting those on my hot bar for the eventual mesmer fight, considering uh, fire damage. Which is weird, as I'm uh, sometimes enemies that use an element, like say Moog, for example. This isn't a one to one, but Moog does a lot of bleed damage. But you would think then that Moog would be resistant to bleed damage. You'd be wrong. You actually want to use bleed against Moog. Although that is a little bit counterintuitive. It does seem to happen with certain enemy types in Souls games. Is enemies are weak to the element that they are using. Which I don't fully understand. If you're like a fire entity, why would you take more damage from fire? So I'm imagining Mesmer might be weak to holy? Which we're going to change up that other uh, twin blade to be holy. And it scales with more holy, which is kind of cool. Which scales with faith. So that might be a weapon play there if I'm dueling him. Who the hell are you? And why are you walking up so menacingly? That was so weird. All right. I just walked up. That tracking on that is annoying. That's probably a, a spell I can learn then if it's a Mesmer Flame spell. Bloodstain in short seek skill. I mean, that was just... It was, it's a Karian like delayed and then a little bit of a curve. So if I didn't dodge at the right time, it would just curve into me. I don't know when I fought him, I procced bleed a lot. Mmm. Bleed weakness. I mean, you can proc bleed on whatever, but Mesmer does look kind of lightly armored. So it could be very little robustness or whatever the stat is that governs bleed. Yeah, robustness is bleed and frost resist, right? So now it's not always a one for one either, depending on what armor you see an enemy wearing. Oh, tree spirit doing tree spirit things. I really have to jump on these buttresses. Damn. Okay. Game. <laughs> this traversal's got buttresses, not hands right now. That is quite the angle. Ugh. I can't really see the angle because it's peaked. It's like a... I'm just going to go for it, I guess. Yeah, see, it's a it's a peaked... Um, comes to a point. It was hard to see depth perception-wise because it was so dark. Ew. Ew. Is there another one of those Mesmer Flame dickheads up here? Seems familiar. That is cool. Makes them like a sea monster. But if you hit it, it goes away. It, it dives under, so you can't really do any damage to it. Even though it's just walking, it's not actually swimming. Yeah, that's neat. I would say that's a cool way to reuse an enemy. Other than just like, it's a poison swamp. It's a giant room. 
what could be here oh it's a poisoned ulcerated tree spirit just an ulcy boy mm, nothing on these so we're going into the room jumping in all right heading down I don't really remember this much water in a Souls game other than Bloodborne when you go to the um, fishing village, the fishing hamlet. What's the item? Fan dagger me. I have been fan daggered in a while. Where it is it? Oh, just as bad. <laughs> just a freaking bird feathers, man. I did get throwing daggered once where I was like, ooh, an item. I still don't think I found that item in that small cave inside of Bellarat yet. The one on the cliff side. I don't know if that's just a later thing. I don't think I've even gotten that item. That just came back into my memory banks. Crab? Let there be crab. Uh oh. Something's making noise. No? Lightning livers. There's a lot of deaths here. Who's who's dying to what? Oh, these this dickhead. I wonder, do you like Scarlet Rot? They pushed him out of the actual rot bloom. They do not like Scarlet Rot. Slurp? I mean, most things don't. Even Melania doesn't like Scarlet Rot. She became the Rot Goddess. Rune of an unsung hero. Looks like an eyeball. 50,000 runes. The great heroes of the war were richly blessed by the grace of the Erd tree, but were not honored in death. Well, boo hoo. <laughs> Something. Seek left. Oh, yeah, indeed. Hmm. Really? Okay. Yikes. Another one of these dickheads. Look how they just back up just enough. That's super annoying. Hey, asshole. I can't really fight you very well here because I have big sword. I'm gonna come out. Please. I can see him on my screen. Can I target lock? These guys are annoying. I don't know about this, man. Is that really... That is quite the... I can't get it when the water goes down, so it's an item that you have to get now. Now, is it easier to jump from this side and walk over the statue? I think I'd fall off the statue if I walked over it. Camera getting stuck on the wall there. Where's the dist- you want to jump at it from an angle to jump towards the arm. This is awful. I have to like try to get the- the-, the sp Oh god, I'm dead! Yep. 
The camera's going to be like flipping into the damn wall trying to get the angle there. All the way back at the beginning. Yep. Well, we have a heading, kind of. That's a lot of traversal. This is an old school Dark Souls section, that's for sure. Considering all of the traversal and you die, you go all the way back. If you're watching live, we shall continue, of course. If you're watching on the YouTube high quality archive, or higher quality bitrate, whatever archive, this is going to be the end of this one. And get back over there. When next we see each other, I will be standing in front of that place again. I got to fight all those dudes again. Oh, I got to walk all these stupid skeletons again that blow up. I mean, we're in, we're in run by strats now at this point, most likely. And that guy aggro is instantly. That's super funny. I wonder how you like pest threads. You can't even strafe it? Wow, that sucks. That is pure roll catch, man. That's awful. You can't even just like side strafe around to get to break distance. It still catches you. Damn. Damn. 